before we dive a little bit deeper into other kind of modeling approaches in the area of polygon modeling, I wanted to do a kind of workflow from start to beginning and applying all the different techniques we have learned so far so that you might get a little bit of a better understanding on how to approach different kind of objects. And um, what we kind of want to build is this kind of water bottle. Um, and yeah, we just use this kind of image as a reference image. And like with the other bottle, I just place this into the front view here. We don't care too much about scaling for now. Um, go to point mode, polygon uh, spline tool. And also I don't want to care too much about the the top part here about the details. So um, yeah, it, the interesting part is more on how to create this kind of lines here with this bottle and get this kind of very organic shape, which would be quite of a task to do this in polygon modeling. Um, so yeah, let me just quickly draw out the shape here of the bottle. Um, we don't care about those things for now. We will do this with another technique uh, later on. So we just want to basically trace the shape here of this bottle. And then again, as always with the points right here at the bottom and at the top, uh, scale to 0% and then just make sure they are on the x-axis on the zero point. All right. In this case, um, I want to use a volume modeling and for this to work, we have to actually close this spline. Um, so let me get rid of this. Um, yeah, we actually have to close the spline to for the volume modeling to work. And why do we use volume modeling for this? Well, we use it because to create this kind of smooth shape outline here um, on the bottle, volume modeling is actually quite a good way to do this kind of effect. Okay, so we got our bottle shape. So let's throw that into the lathe object and let's go to perspective view to do a quick check on this one. Okay, let me increase the amount of shapes here. We don't care about subdivisions too much. Um, I have one of those bottles actually here next to me on the desk. So um, I don't know, maybe we can do this a little bit to the inside. And this seems a little bit sharp actually. Um, but I don't think I can make this more rounded for now, but it's okay. Let's don't get lost into too, too much details here. All right, so this will be our basic bottle shape. So the next thing is we want to actually do the kind of uh, curved uh, decoration around this kind of thing. So one way to do this, um, I guess, is to start with a circle shape in the X and Z direction. Um, make this bigger. And how many of those do we got actually? So let's go back in here and let's hide the bottle for now. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those rings. Okay, we just remember this for later. Um, first of all, I'd like to basically create this kind of shape. So I think it's basically pretty simple. We just move two points downwards and this one will be a little bit lower than the other one. So something like this. Um, I think you cannot see it probably in this image, but you kind of, you kind of get the idea. Um, so yeah, that could be kind of a way to do it. All right. Uh, lathe object back on and now we basically want to move this to the first position of this kind of thing. Okay, maybe about here. 
scale it down a little bit. And now um, I think we can do this. Should we do this now? So what I can do to make this fit perfectly around our bottle, I can use the project option, make sure it's on the mode spherical and then hit apply and then this will kind of match this shape perfectly as soon as we increase a little bit more subdivisions to it. So yeah, a bit unsure now what's the right order of steps to take here, but um, let me let me try this. So let me first duplicate um, this kind of shape three and we scale this up a little bit four five six seven eight nine did i miscount in the beginning one two three four five six seven eight that's hard to count actually well never mind we don't have to be perfect here so that there are the shapes now let me make this to one spline and then let's see if we can get the projection work for this spherical okay there we go nice so now our splines follow this bottle perfectly now the next thing we will put this into a sweep uh, we need a circle for this and we need the sweep both go in and then we can reduce the size of our circle i think that the size of this is quite quite good all right this looks good now let's actually I think that's it for the preparation of this thing. So this can now go into the volume builder. Um, I just throw in the smooth directly and decrease the voxel size. So let's see, maybe let's do two iterations on this. So we want to make this a little bit more smoothened out. And I think it's, I think it's too much of those kind of sweeps in there but yeah never mind for now you get the idea i guess um so we can play around a little bit with the with the voxel size um depending on how pronounced you want the the curves to be um yeah i think i go with something like this um all right so that looks Okay, for me. And then let's throw this into the volume measure and then we will get the mesh out of this. Um, I think maybe we can increase also the subdivisions for our lathe object to make things smoother, but it's, that's called calculating. Okay, yeah, now we get a nice smooth shape. So I could have improvised a little bit the separation of those objects and uh, I think I miscalculated, miscounted this, but yeah, it looks nice for now. Okay, now the last step we can do, throw this into the remesh uh, to get a nicer remeshed version of this. Let's have a look at the amount of polygons and you can see this is quite heavy. My Cinema 4D application is super slow now. But the remeshing is going on. Okay, so let's reduce the density by quite a lot, maybe down to 20%. So the remeshing now takes some time, as you can see in the lower left corner here. But it speeds up now. And let's see what we get. Okay, now this looks nice. It's still quite heavy. So why don't we go down to, let's say, 5%. Super heavy mesh here. Uh, 
All right, now this looks much cleaner, much better. And let's turn this off and now we get a nice smooth shape. And it didn't even take us more than 10 minutes to to build this. Of course, now we could add details for, for the top part, etc. cetera. But um, yeah, I think we are pretty good to go. And this, uh, as you can see, is a very fast way to build something quite complex as this kind of shape.